Doesn't that sound awful? Just the packaging alone, it just makes you feel like this is gonna be gross. All right, it's Sunday morning and we just got to the fertility doctor. We're waiting outside. We have like five minutes before I need to go up there. I don't really wanna sit in the waiting room for very long. I don't think they really want you to sit in the waiting room for very long. There's usually like one person there other than you, if any at all. And they do temperature screenings before every single time. And today is a very good day. Not only because I feel like we're you know, kind of getting up to the big news part of this process. If not, we're gonna get the big news today. The good sonogram girl is gonna be here today. <laughs> Neither of them are bad, honestly. One of them is dead silent and doesn't give you any info on what she's seeing. And the other one gives you lots of information and I don't know, I guess I've just had her more times and I know for a fact she's working this weekend. So I'm probably gonna get her, so I'm really excited. Working for the weekend. I'm really hoping they say that we can do the trigger shot today and do the egg retrieval tomorrow. Yeah. Get it done. Be sweet. It would be really good. Knock it out. Grant wore his beachy Mickey shirt today. I was like, oh, hey Mickey. And he said it was for good luck. Good luck. Are you flexing? Good vibes. <laughs> I did not sleep well at all last night. I had a horrible night of sleep, but I'm feeling good right now. Let's do it. Grant has to just sit in the car though. He's just gonna sit in the car and read. I got a good spot. He did get a good spot. Exercise my mind. What? bad news or at least it feels like bad news just because it wasn't what I expected um, we're not as far along as I hope or at least it's not progressing as quickly as we thought it would so obviously I have to wait until the nurse calls me later on today to know for sure what we're doing going forward but I just did the sonogram and the blood work and everything and it looks like it's gonna be maybe a couple more days so I got a little loner medication like we talked about yesterday I need one more to work for me tomorrow and then it looks like I might have to get another loner when I come in again tomorrow morning for another sonogram and more blood work um, this is just the way it goes it's kind of all up in the air and they're just kind of waiting and seeing when your body is gonna respond and when it's gonna be at the place it needs to be I was feeling so hopeful that we were gonna get to trigger today and do the egg retrieval tomorrow but I mean, what's one more day? It's totally okay. And I don't know if we're gonna have to change the way we're doing our medication or anything like that. Obviously, they have to show all the results and figure out the blood work results and show that to the doctor. And then they call me later in the day. That's how it always works. But the nurse was able to tell me that it looks like it's definitely not gonna be tomorrow at least. I don't know, I know I shouldn't be disappointed right now, but I do feel kind of disappointed. Yeah. Are you disappointed? Yeah, I thought it was, just, it seemed too easy almost. Yeah, you know. it did. It seemed too easy. I mean, ultimately, when you think about any of these bad side effects that you get from doing IVF, I mean, all of it is building up to pregnancy when there is a whole bunch of other stuff that you get to deal with and it goes on much, much, much longer. So there's almost like no point in complaining or being like, oh, when is this gonna be over? Cause it's just like, gonna keep going yeah <laughs> it's like being pregnant for a year instead of nine months <laughs> extra fun yeah more is more more is more <laughs> all right so we decided we are gonna run over to starbucks i never have starbucks and i don't think grant ever has starbucks either no so it's kind of like a treat for us. And Grant looked up a few different low carb options that you can get at Starbucks. So we're gonna try them out. Okay, Grant got an iced Americano with some stuff added in along the way. And I got, I think it was called an iced cinnamon refresher. And I picked regular heavy cream and 
I swear it's like 90% cream. <laughs> it just tastes like milk basically. I don't know if I ordered it wrong or what, but not exactly my favorite. And I think I'm gonna add just a dash of this instant coffee. I just don't love the flavor of just straight cream. All right, that's already looking a lot better. It was like off-white basically. That's my good girl. All right, I think it's time to check on Grandpa. I know you guys like to see how he's doing. And last weekend, I didn't show you guys this, but I added this little nub from one of the other cactuses that I was repotting into this one. It totally throws off the symmetry that I had going. And I have no idea if it will actually grow, but it looks really cute because it's like under two inches tall and all the other ones are much taller especially grandpa here his hair is looking real good this morning and it looks like this one is really thriving too i'm pretty sure when i repotted this one i could look back at the video to make sure but i'm pretty sure it only had a few of these little feeler finger things and now it has them all over the place so i think that means it's happy it definitely looks happy So we're heating up some leftover barbecue from last night for lunch. And we just got up from being very lazy. We immediately came home, brought our coffee into the bedroom, turned on the projector, watched some Mad Men, and then both of us fell asleep. He definitely slept longer than I did. I slept for like one minute because when I drink coffee, I cannot fall asleep. I don't know. I think the coffee was generally just a bad idea. Number one, I think I ordered the wrong thing. Number two, it just made me feel jittery and not so good. And I thought it was going to be a treat and it doesn't feel like it was a treat at all. Uh, I'm not even really hungry right now. Coffee always seems to do that to me. Like I just lose my appetite completely. I mean, it could obviously be other things. I'm definitely feeling kind of like that heaviness feeling in my stomach right now from the medicine and everything. And I'm sure it's only intensified because now I know that I'm gonna have to do all my meds and everything for more days than I was hoping, but it's okay. And we have a couple of things that we wanna do today, but generally I've just been trying to take it easy. Like last week I didn't put up my Thursday video um, on Monday, we both took the day off together to kind of celebrate our anniversary and Tuesday was our actual anniversary, but he had to work. So um, we did Monday and that threw off my editing schedule. So I put up two vlogs last week and I didn't put up the Thursday video, but I have one ready. I don't know if that sounds like I'm trying to take stress off myself, but I really am. I'm trying to take it easy and I'm trying to not like freak myself out and demand three videos out of myself every week even whenever my schedule is shifted but right now I'm like really leaning into the lazy feeling and I just want to like lay down in bed and keep watching Mad Men forever. Maybe. What season are we on? We're on? We just started four. Yeah so right after Sopranos we started watching Mad Men but we've been watching Mad Men a lot slower than we watched The Sopranos because we've been watching a lot of Disney videos. <laughs> Yeah, a lot. Lately, a lot, a lot. And Disney World is actually open now, which is kind of wild. Kind of wild kinda is wild. putting it lightly. <laughs> yeah, it's really wild to see those, the workers like in the full face shields. Yeah. Well, welcome back. It makes me here. scared for them. Stay away from me. Yeah. I feel like I have peanut butter on my lips because I was just eating peanut butter with a spoon. Peanut butter. <laughs> um, you know, some people are probably super excited to get back to it yeah. and other people are probably pretty nervous, which it probably also depends on their life circumstances, you know. And their job. I mean, some of those people job. probably are not to interact too closely with a lot of True. people. True. True. Yeah. Um, it makes me nervous for them. Yeah. <sighs> but there's still that very small oh, yeah. part of me that isn't very smart that wishes I could go. Take me there. Because <laughs> watching the vlogs, there's way, way less people there. It looks fun, but it also looks scary. When I, when I look at the vlog, I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so fun. And Grant's like, that looks terrifying, which I'm definitely on, on both sides, but you know, I get into the zone when I'm watching the vlog. The and zone. I'm, and I'm like, that looks fun. I wanna have fun. No crowds, no lines. But you know, it is, it's, 
I mean, we no haven't bueno. even been to a restaurant. So, yeah. obviously. Big leap. Not traveling to another state and going to a theme park. Yeah. Luna has been loving this lazy day. I don't think she slept well overnight either. What? I'm honestly not feeling very hungry, but... This barbecue was really, really good, especially the sausage. What are we gonna watch? Oh, what's that new Tim Tracker? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I feel like I got my second wind and we're about to work on something in the house that I have been wanting to change out since day one. So when we bought this house, we pretty much went with the absolute most basic builder light fixtures everywhere except for this fan we upgraded this fan we really fell in love with that one and other than that we knew that we wanted to pretty much change everything out along the way just to find something that we really really liked because the options that we had weren't very thrilling and one of the places that i wanted to switch out forever i've even called this out on my story because i was just looking at it and hating it one day this little sconce right here it's not horrible, but I hate it. We finally ordered something and today we're gonna switch it out. I found it from CB2. I looked at a bunch of different places and we're about to unbox it. I actually did a poll on my story the day before I ordered it and this is actually the one that won. It, that's not exactly how it always works out. Sometimes I ask for an opinion and then I go my own way anyway, but this actually is the one that ended up winning in both of the polls. I'm pretty sure when I ordered this, they were having some kind of sale or I had like a gift card maybe. Oh, it's nice. we like. This is really pretty and it's also way, way heavier than I expected. Uh-oh, Luna's never seen bubble wrap. <laughs> All right, it looks like we ran into a little speed bump here. The place where you connect the fixture is turned and so we need an extra part that we don't have on hand so I'm not sure if we're actually gonna be able to put in the fixture. Yeah, we have to decide the pros and cons of going to a hardware store. Oh no. I love this thing. Did you say I love this thing? That's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, so obviously we decided to come and get the part and I decided to run over to the garden theater just to look. Okay, remember that big fake steak plant I bought? It's about this size and these are only $21. Obviously they're higher maintenance, but they look so good. I'm really, really, really tempted right now. Obviously, I could not resist and Grant's car says it's 105 out there. So it took me about 106, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sure on the weather app, it's like, feels like 125. Cause actually yesterday we checked after Grant got done doing that whole project outside yesterday afternoon. It said it was 99 outside and it felt like 105, which is nothing new in Texas, but this is definitely the hottest weekend we've had this year, I'd say. Um, also, I got some new sunglasses. It's hiding at least a, a good bit of my face that is very, very sweaty right now. I really like the color and they're kind of like slightly transparent brown. I got a compliment on them from Grant. <laughs> when you're so quarantined that you're like, wow, I got a compliment on these <laughs> from my husband. <laughs> okay, we just plopped it down in the house very close to the Amazon plant. I thought I was gonna fall in love with it. I thought it was gonna grow on me and I just don't think it has. I definitely love the real thing much better. I'm just so impressed with how tall these guys are and they were all about $21. And then here's my other snake plant that's just a baby. I'm in love already. I mean, what did we expect? What did we expect? We got in, we got out and we got the thing we needed. It's always shocking when that works out. All right, I think the moment is finally here and we're ready to attach the fixture onto the wall. Oh my 
my gosh, this thing was a nightmare to get up here. <laughs> it was so, so hard to get our little fingers squeezed back behind here to get that where it needed to be and get it screwed in. It was a genuine challenge. <laughs> genuine. But here we go, last step. Put the plate in. I think that looks good. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, it definitely looks cooler in person than it does on camera. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's cool. I actually like it more than I even thought I would. Let me see if I get close so I can see better. There we go. Now you can see this is more what it looks like in person. It's not a super bright light. It's just like a warm glow. Okay, it's been several hours since I last talked to you. It is time to cook dinner, and honestly, I have zero motivation right now. I've just been working on boring paperwork stuff for my accountant. My least favorite thing to do in the world. I avoid it at all costs, but it had to be done. And I feel like to motivate me to cook dinner, I think I'm gonna have a brownie. And I have been meaning to put this on my story all week long. So he bought this box brownie mix, Carb Right Diet, which doesn't that sound awful? Just the packaging alone, it just makes you feel like this is gonna be gross. But basically it's a very, very low carb brownie mix. And we decided to try it and I made it on our anniversary. And no one was more surprised than me that they were actually really, really good. I added in some extra dark chocolate chips and I feel like that added to it. Are they the exact same as regular brownies? No. Are there a million recipes for low carb or keto brownies? Yes. But this was really easy and it turned out way better than I even expected. And actually, after we made these, I kind of went on a rampage and found a bunch of different brands on Amazon that offer like low carb dessert mixes. And I'll show you all of that, but I'll show you after dinner because I gotta eat this brownie, reward myself for doing my boring accounting stuff and then make dinner. And then we'll do like a little low carb mix haul. I don't know what to call that. Probably no one cares, but I'm gonna make something tonight because we're really running low on brownies. Actually, change of plans. I wanna figure out which one I'm gonna be making after dinner as further motivation to make dinner. We have high key muffin and cupcake baking mix, blueberry flavor. We have a blondie brownie baking mix by the same brand. And then we have even more sweetener. Actually, this one was recommended by one of you guys. And you said that you're gonna send me a special chocolate chip cookie recipe and I definitely wanted to try that. You said that this sweetener was key for it and then I couldn't find the message. So if you're watching this, send me the message again. I'm so sorry because I have the sugar and I'm ready. Okay, moving on, we have keto baking mix snickerdoodle cookies because I really wanna keep the cookie eating going, especially in this time, it feels very important. And then the last one is chocolate brownies from the same brand, Keto Baking Mix. So, didn't really look at reviews, just kind of went crazy and ordered a bunch of stuff. So, which one should we do? Grant has suddenly joined the chat. <laughs> um, which one are you interested in most? Uh, I think either the blondies or the snickerdoodles. I say blondies. I agree. Cool. That's what we're doing. All right. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making keto cheddar jalapeno meatballs. We're not doing keto, but it is very easy to just find keto recipes. And obviously they're going to make it a whole lot easier to stay low carb throughout the day if you do a super, super low carb meal. Um, so these look really, really easy. And we had all of the ingredients that we needed. So let's just bust these out. I think they're gonna be easy and they sound perfect for us. Cheese, jalapeno, added to anything, we love it. All right, I've got all my ingredients out here. I had to improvise on a couple of things, but I think it's gonna be good. And then I've got my motivation hanging out over here with my butter softening. Whole lot of meatballs going on here. 
We're running really late on dinner tonight, so while the meatballs are in the, re in the refrigerator, in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this brownie mix because after dinner, I tend to lose steam and we need to do our shots. So I just need to make this happen while I'm standing. Dark chocolate chips. She's a maniac, maniac <laughs> with those chips. <laughs> She's chipping like I never chip. Couldn't have sung it better myself. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa, look at these meatballs. We have so many. Y'all, honestly, this looks like a very sad plate right now, but I've got to eat to take my medicine and I'm just not feeling good. I feel really out of it and I feel like I ate tons of food already. I just don't have any appetite, but I'm gonna go for it. This is what I can commit to at the moment. It looks really sad. All right, I might not even end up having one of these tonight, but I'm gonna pop them into the oven. It's shot time and I'm getting ready. <sighs> I'm really not feeling good tonight. So the official purple gloves of our nighttime shots. Healthcare workers everywhere. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I said I wasn't gonna eat one of these because I'm not feeling well. I'm actually feeling slightly better than I was like 30 minutes ago. I have to do it for the vlog. I think it's way better than the other carb right. You can't tell this is low carb. It's or, good. This is really right. good. Yeah, this is just a normal. I definitely one. think the extra chips. The extra chips are added. great. They're yeah. very good. But yeah. you, this is the consistency, the flavor. I give this a 10.5. It's very fudgy. Very fudgy. Big winner. All right, it's time to go to bed. I'm just out of it and not feeling well. Oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys? We finally got this window done after weeks and weeks, maybe months of just having like a towel covering this area. If you missed that story in that vlog, I'm not gonna repeat it, but there was a moment with me and a guy working on the yard. I was in the bathroom, he was outside. It wasn't a great moment and it urged me to make something happen with this window. But after going through all this stuff with the guy, um, giving him exact measurements of like where we wanted the gradient to start everything, it didn't happen. This is not what we wanted. I mean, it's fine for now, but they're gonna come back and fix it. Um, and the whole reason why so many people have commented and said, you can do this yourself, just go to Home Depot, it's really cheap, it's easy, blah, 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 blah. And we haven't done that. I mean, obviously that is an option that we could have taken and done it ourselves, but we really wanted the gradient and we really wanted it to be like, Kind of custom because we want a lot of light to come through and we don't want to lose this window and there's only so high up that we wanted it i know it's kind of making it over complicated but we wanted what we wanted i'm about to go to bed i'm feeling kind of like garbage um i'm excited about the week to come hopefully i feel better tomorrow i'm going to be going back to the doctor for another sonogram and more blood work in the morning Hopefully everything is progressing. Hopefully we get this egg retrieval done, maybe Tuesday, I don't know. But unless something really, really bad happens somehow, the egg retrieval will happen in the next few days. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Think happy thoughts for me. Pray for me. Eat some cookies for me. Everything because this part is definitely gonna be happening this week. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you're having a great week. Thanks. I love you. Bye.